Hi everyone, it's me Ina again and for today's video, I'm gonna share you um, how to make kale salad or vegan salad. Okay, so let's join me. Okay, so this is what we need. We need at least uh, two bunches or two heads of um, green dinosaur kale. If you cannot find green one, you can also use the red uh, dinosaur kale. And then we also need the uh, medial dates. If you can find medial dates, you can also use uh, the pyrum uh, dates. I don't know if I pronounce it right. Okay, and then the raw almond butter. We need raw almond butter, not the sweetened or uh, with other ingredients. And then the pepper flakes, tamari, uh, less sodium, and then one can of canela beans, and uh, fresh lemon juice. And then of course the chopper, and then we're gonna need a um, blender or a uh, food processor. Okay, so what we are going to do is to I combine everything together in the container uh, of uh, the blender or or food processor so we are going to use um, at least one fourth cup of uh, fresh lemon juice or you can also use a uh, lime juice if a uh, lemon is not available okay so for the canela beans uh, drain and uh, rinse the beans before you use them okay okay we're going to use the whole can and then add uh, the lime juice or lemon juice one fourth then we also need to add a half cup of raw almond so we're going to use raw almond uh, because raw almond doesn't really have any ingredients added or any sugar added just the raw almond although it's a little bit pricey but i will guarantee you that um, um, using this uh, type of almond is uh, good for you Okay, add at least one cup of um, coconut water. So if you don't have a coconut water, you can just add the plain water or distilled water. Okay, there you go. Uh, add at least um, four to five pieces of medial dates. So I soak uh, the medial dates ahead of time into uh, warm water so that it will become soft. And then a two tablespoon of less uh, sodium um, tamari. Okay, so as you can see, we don't add any uh, sugar. So it's all natural sugar from coconut and um, sugar from dates. Okay, so this time we're going to add uh, garlic and ginger. So I forgot to mention this a while ago that we're going to uh, add uh, garlic and ginger just a little amount okay then uh, uh, blend everything together until it becomes smooth so this is our dressing for our kale salad Okay, so I want to use um, food processor because uh, the ingredients will not really liquefy. So it will become smooth but not too smooth, you know. 
I'm gonna show it to you how it looks like okay so the texture will be you know a little bit grainy okay so now that our dressing is ready so we're gonna we're going to prepare our kale so just take off uh, the um, a stem much better if you have a uh, a stem remover if you have that that's gonna be easy but I'm going to use just um, my paring knife okay so just take it off everything and then we're going to chop this um, kale beautiful kale dinosaur kale as I have said, you can also use the red dinosaur kale too. It's the same thing. It's just uh, the color. If you want to add uh, additional color or, you know, if you want it to be more colorful. Okay. So I have a chopper. So if you have, um, what do you call that? Um, mezzanine chopper something like that I don't know if I pronounce it right but something like this but it's much bigger okay you can chop that or you just use uh, the regular knife if you don't have any okay. because this is a little bit easier than the you know the regular knife okay so let's talk about this salad okay uh, this salad has a lot of uh, health uh, benefits from uh, these ingredients. As you can see, we don't add a sugar. Uh, they're all uh, natural from these ingredients. Okay, so if you are a vegan person, this one is the right one for you. And if you are uh, very conscious about salt and sugar, this one is the right one for you. So this is not my recipe. I just got it from my cousin who is a vegan, who, uh, who uh, where she got it from her friend who is a vegan too. So I just want to share it to you guys, this very healthy salad kale salad and i know that you're gonna love it okay so now that our uh, kale is already chopped just transfer in a big bowl okay so the kale should be like this not too fine but uh coarse you know something like that okay so we're gonna add the dressing that we made a while ago so this is good for four to six people okay and then if you have a leftover uh, dressing you can just um, store your dressing in an airtight container and leave in the fridge for another week okay so just add little by little of the dressing and then mix until it becomes uh, well coated Okay, so I just add little by little because I don't like my I don't like my salad to be very wet. Okay, but if you you can add some more if you like uh, to add more dressing. Okay, so once uh, it uh, well coated with the dressing, uh, we can now add some heat in the salad so we're going to add um, the pepper flakes okay or if you don't have pepper flakes you can also use chili powder okay to add some heat but if you don't like uh, to add uh, some peppers um, it's okay you can just uh, skip that okay so um, you can also add some uh, nuts like uh, shaved uh, almonds, uh, walnuts, um, pecan, or cashew. And then you can also add some uh, dried fruits or fresh fruits, you know. Okay, so let's try this. Uh, this is very, very healthy. Mm, it's really good. Okay, so I hope you liked the video for today. 
this healthy video for today and 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 i hope you will um, make this at home try to give some healthy um healthy uh, meals for your loved ones especially nowadays okay so thank you guys for watching and i hope you like you like it and um please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell button so that you'll be updated with my videos and don't forget home cook mothers okay bye thank you and god bless